Hello and welcome everybody to this Valheim video. Now this video is all about weapons. Now this is my top 10 weapons in Valheim. Now this is my top 10 of the best weapons I think. There may be a couple that you might may change. If so then just pop it in the comments below and I'll check it out. But I believe playing with all these weapons this is my top 10. So I've got them all laid out along the wall for you. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab each and every one and I'm going to talk you through the weapon I'm going to, going to talk to you about the pieces that you need to craft each weapon. So before we get into that if you could please like the video to help it grow in the YouTube algorithm and please subscribe for some more content. Thank you very much and let's get on to the first one. So the first one is Fang Spear. So let's take that and equip that. So this is Fang Spear. It's just a spear, but it's quite a good spear. Now the reason for that, if we go over to the stats of the weapon, so it's got piercing damage of 70, backstab, so a sneak attack of times three, and knockback of 20. Now the defensive isn't that great because it is a spear at the end of the day. It has got a blocking power of 10, and it's got a parry bonus of times two. Now to craft the fang spear you'll need ten ancient bark which you can get in the swamps, four wolf fang which you'll get in the mountain biome. You'll see wolves and just kill them and you can get their pelt and wolf fangs. Leather scraps which you can get from wild boar and silver which again you'll find in the mountain biome. Now the second weapon on the list is the black metal knife. So let's equip that beast. So it's just a little knife, but it's really good for those stealthy people out there. If you like sneak attacking, it is really, really good weapon to have. Now the reason for that is because it has a backstab of times 10. Now that is massive. So 10 times. Knockback of only 10, piercing damage of 18, and a slash damage of again 18. It's not very good again for defense, but it's because it's only a small knife. So block power 15 and parry bonus of times four. It's quite a cool little weapon. So to craft the black metal knife, you're gonna need four fine wood, 10 black metal. Now to get black metal, you're gonna need to kill little goblins known as fullings. Now upon killing them, they're located in the plains biome they will drop black metal scraps. Now with the black metal scraps, you can pop in the forge to make black metal. The other item you're gonna need is linen thread. Now to get linen thread, you're gonna need to find flax. Now flax is grown in the plains biome. Now they're mainly grown near the little goblin villages. Now once you get that, you'll need to then pop it into a spinning wheel. So there we go, this is the spinning wheel. So you just pop the flax in the spinning wheel and it will turn it into linen thread. Now the third item on the list is the iron sledge. Now this is an absolutely monster weapon. I really like this weapon. It's helped me out quite a lot in the game against big opponents and it really helped me against bone mass, the, the one of the, which is the third boss. It attacks, I mean, it's got a great knockback and it does masses of damage. It's really, really good and it knocks enemies back. Now with this weapon, it's got blunt damage. So unlike the other two, which had pierce damage, this has got blunt damage. So blunt damage of 55, which is good against really big enemies, basically. Block power of 15. It's also got a parry force of 50. It's also got the massive knockback bonus, which is a really good weapon to use against multiple enemies that are surrounding you. So it's got a knockback of 200 and a backstab of two. Now what I mean by knockback is if I go over here because I'll break everything and just slam it on the floor again, that blue radius is the knockback, so it will knock them back past that, so a knockback of 200 which is massive. Now to craft this weapon you're going to need 10 ancient bark, 30 iron, so it's quite easy to make. The only issue is the Ymir flesh, because to get Ymir flesh you need to buy it from the Valheim merchant. Now his name's Haldor. If you haven't found him already, 
then he is located in the Black Forest. Now you just need to want, if you've done a lot of walking around and sort of exploring, he will just pop up. Now he is randomly generated, so for me, the location for me would be completely different to the location for you. So I can't tell you where he is, but just keep searching in the Black Forest and he will come up. As soon as you're in about a two kilometer radius of him, he will show up on your mini-map. And the last thing is you need one Draeger trophy. So just kill a Draeger, which is an undead in the swamps, and you'll get a trophy. And then you can craft this awesome hammer. Now the fourth weapon on the list is the Black Metal Axe. I've got a real soft spot for axes because it's very Viking-like. And this one looks really cool with the Black Metal. It's got a really nice red handle. It's a really nice battle axe, it really is nice. Again, it's one-handed, which is really good because you can use it with a shield. Now the stats on this axe, so it's got a really good slash damage of 95. And by the way, this is all sort of low level of all these weapons. I haven't leveled them up or anything. Uh, block power of 20, a parry bonus of times two, a nice knockback effect, which is pretty good, which is 60, and backstab times three. So it's a really cool weapon. Looks good, I love axes, and it's one of my personal favorites. So to get your hands on one of these, you're gonna need six fine wood, 20 black metal, and five linen thread. So, a bit like the knife, the black metal knife, it's the same sort of ingredients, you just need a, you know, a couple more bits of fine wood really, but that is how you craft that one. Now the next weapon for all you sword fans out there is the black metal sword. Now I really love the look of this weapon because it's pretty much all black metal, apart from there's a little red handle on it. It's got a really nice, I don't know why, it's got a really nice like swishing noise to it. But really nice sword, again one handed so you can use it with a shield which is even better. Now the stats are quite similar to the axe, so slash of 95, block of 10, parry force of 20, parry bonus times 2, knockback of 40, and a backstab times three. So really good stats on that, and it really looks awesome. And again, to craft this, this one, nice and easy, it's only two fine wood, 20 black metal, and five linen thread. So if you want some of these weapons, you're gonna need to get yourself a lot of black metal, but it is worth it, I promise you. Now we're down to our top five. Now this one is an amazing weapon. Now it's the black metal spear. Now this would have been a lot higher if it wasn't for one reason, which I'll tell you in a second. But first of all, it looks amazing. With that lovely massive red handle and the black metal top. And it's got an amazing piercing damage. It really is a great weapon to use. And this weapon has got, I'm just gonna go outside. It has got a special attack. So on your mouse, if you click the scroller, it does like a spinny, we are, which is amazing. I'm gonna call it the we are for now. If you are swarmed by a load of enemies, it will just get them away from you. So then you can just do the we are and then run and escape or whatever. But the only downside to this weapon, and I said there was only one downside, or it was otherwise it would have ranked a lot higher, is that it's a two-handed weapon. Now I know it's a big spear and it should be, but I do like to carry a shield. That's the only thing. It's only a personal thing. Now the stats, the pierce 105. Now the piercing damage is very high. Block power of only 10, but again it's a spear. Parry force of 40, parry bonus times three, knockback of 30, and times three backstab. Now the fourth weapon, now this one I love. It is without doubt the best bow in the game and it is without doubt the best looking bow in the game. Absolutely incredible. The benefit of this is you can use any type of arrow in the game on it. It will, it is, it's quite flexible with that. I just love how it glows up blue. It's just really nice. Now the stats on this one, the pierce of 47, it's got a poison damage of five, which is really good so it will keep the enemy poison. Block power of five, a parry bonus of 1.5, knockback of 20, and backstab of times three. The stats don't really vary much from the other bows. The main one is the poison and the piercing damage. But, I mean, just like everybody else, it just looks amazing. Really cool looking bow. 
Really good stability when you're aiming. And the accuracy is great. Some of the bows you have to aim up really, really high. This one's quite accurate. You don't really have to aim that much higher than the cursor. But it just, again, depends on how far away the enemy is. But it's really accurate. Now, to craft the best bow in the game isn't actually that hard. And you can get it sort of mid-game. You need 10 ancient bark, 20 silver, 2 deer hide, and guck. Now, guck is found in the swamps biome. And they're just little fluorescent green sacks. They're sometimes up trees, they're sometimes down below. Now the top three. Now these were all very close. Now the third one for me was the Frostner. Now this hammer is absolutely awesome. Now the reason for it, I mean look at it to start off with. And you can see it's got like an aura of frost that just comes off the tip of it. It looks amazing along with the blue strap awesome bit of weapon now the reason this is in the top three is because it does three types of damage it's got blunt damage frost damage and it's also got spirit damage now I've noticed when upgrading the frost nut the only thing that seems to increase is the frost damage however the cool thing about this weapon is the cold damage starts to drain stamina from non frosted enemies Excluding trolls, for some reason it doesn't work on trolls. And sometimes if you hit them sort of three or four times, it will slow most enemies down and it will even make some enemies incapable of attacking you back. It really is a cool weapon and is not one to be missed. It's also got a special attack. So if you click the middle of your mouse cursor, it will do like an overhead sweep and it will smash your enemies out the way. It really is cool and it's a great weapon to have. Now to craft this weapon, it's a pretty sort of mid to end game weapon. You're going to need 10 Ancient Bark, 30 Silver, 5 Yamira Flesh and you're going to need 5 Freeze Glands. Now to get Freeze Glands, what you're going to need to do is kill Drakes. Now they're located in the mountain biome. Now, drakes look a little bit like dragony type creatures, but as soon as you kill them, they will drop freeze glands for you to make this epic weapon. Now, in the number two spot, but as you can see, the number one spot isn't technically a weapon, but it's used alongside, so it kind of counts, but doesn't. But the best weapon for me in the game is the porcupine. Now, look at this absolute brute of a weapon. You do not want to get hit by this. This weapon is just designed to smash your foes to pieces. I mean, just look at it. And the best thing about it, it's got blunt and pierce damage. So blunt of 50, pierce of 45. It's just designed as an all-rounder. Smash your enemies to pieces. And it looks great as well. Blocking power of 20. Power force of 30. Power bonus 2 times 2 and it's also got a knockback of 90 and backstab of 3. Now, just like the Frostner, it's also got that special yeet to smash your enemies right out of the way. And again, you just click the scroll cursor in the middle of the mouse and it will, I call it the yeet button because it will just special move and smash your enemies out of the way. But look how cool that is. Now, to craft this absolute amazing weapon, you need 5 fine wood, 20 iron, 5 needle. Now to get needle, you need to kill the death squeetos. And they will drop needles. Now, death squeetos are found in the plains biome. They're basically flying insect mosquito. They are bright orange. Now, you'll hear like a buzzing sound when you're quite close to one. But really be careful because... They literally could kill you in one shot if you don't have enough health. They can do 60 damage in one blow, so they can unexpectedly just pop up and kill you unexpectedly. The best way to kill them is with a ranged, so get them with the dragger bow, and they will drop needles. And then 10 linen thread, and that is how you craft the porcupine. And here we are, the number one, last but not least. I know it's not technically a weapon but use this alongside the porcupine and it will turn you into a powerhouse now this is the serpent scale shield now it looks absolutely amazing 
best looking shield in the game by far. And I mean the porcupine is probably one of the best looking weapons. So you do look very cool with them both together. Now the shield is really hard and it was the hardest for me to craft. That's another reason why it was number one. Now the reason is because you need serpent scales. Now serpent scales, again you'll get them from killing serpents, sea serpents in the sea. I mean at one point I killed about 25 of these things and none of them dropped serpent scales. It was just the serpent meat. So they are really hard to find and you really have to grind to try and get this shield. Now it's got the highest blocking power of all shields in the game so blocking power of 90 it really is great so that along with a porcupine a little yeet and a block oh no don't do that now to craft this absolute difficult shield to get as soon as you get some serpent scales it's kind of easy but it's just getting them like I said but you just need 10 fine wood 4 iron and it's 8 serpent scales so good luck with that so there we are, I hope you really enjoyed the video and I hope it kind of gave you an insight of some of the best weapons in the game and what, like I said, what was your favourite? Pop it in the comments below, but please don't forget to like and subscribe for more content to come. Thanks everybody for tuning in and we'll see you soon.